What's up, people? So, Games Workshop has managed to piss off the collectors once again. Obviously, the last time was when The End of the Death Volume 1 came out, and again, now that The End of the Death Volume 2 has come out, with the exact same results, which is collectors being sniped by slow website usage, I guess. I don't know how you would call that. Uh, the website was slow. It was chugging horribly. Uh, and a lot of those copies being snagged up by scalpers. Now, this is a problem that has been ongoing for the last year and a half, two years or so. Uh, anybody that's been buying Black Library books since that time knows that if there's a major release coming out, if there's no queue in place, the website's probably going to crash. And you may or may not get the book that you're after. I've pretty much come to those terms on all releases now, because for a while there, it was every single release until the scalpers realized that there are just some limited editions that people just don't want. Uh, there just isn't a demand for them because it's like a niche you know, character or series. But the Horus Heresy is arguably one of the most well-known Warhammer series there is. Plain and simple. So... You know, once the people that scalp shoes and consoles and everything else like that realize they can make a quick book, quick buck off of books, say that five times fast, then we started to have a problem. Now, Games Workshop has implemented the queue system on like major releases where they have multiple new minis or new kits or new books all at the same time. And that seems to be a relatively good idea. It, it seems to work, at least in my experience. Um, but Saturday, yesterday, there was no queue and it was, it was a nightmare, but that's besides the point. The point is that collectors are missing out. Collectors are getting pissed and now we're back in the same boat of, okay, what is games workshop going to do about it? Which at this point seems to be nothing. We've been hearing that they're going to upgrade the website or make it more, uh, stable for releases like this. And I believe that was supposed to have already been done by now. Uh, I haven't heard anything since they made that announcement after the first debacle. But it, it doesn't seem to be going away. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at this because it's really gross. Um, there we go. And these are all the listings starting at roughly 400, anywhere from 300 I think the highest one I saw was almost a thousand dollars, and there are at least eighty listings for this book. That's eighty copies of a limited series of a limited item that isn't in the hand of somebody that actually wanted it. None of these people are are in this because they love the hobby or the setting or anything like that. These people are in it to make money. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and look at this one. This is obviously from Texas. Let's see what other stuff this guy has here. Thing of Pokemon cards. Okay, all right, that's not that bad. That could be worse. Uh, let me find one that's really outrageous. 300, and oh, people are are bidding on this. This one's at 300 bucks with 11 bids. This was something that people wanted. I mean, the series is ending. They wanted the book. They wanted to finish out their collections. And now this is what's left. And it's really, really unfortunate. I mean, it's, it sucks to be honest. I mean, I managed to get my, my copies. Uh, yeah. Pokemon cards, same thing with this guy. But I I almost missed out. There was probably a 30 second lag between screens. So from the time I clicked add to cart, 30 seconds, add to cart, 30 seconds, check out, 30 seconds. Then I had to sign back in, another 45 seconds. Then I had to complete the checkout process, another 30 seconds. Literally maybe 10 or 15 seconds after I got the confirmation that my order went through, it sold out. And if I hadn't started putting stuff in cart, 
a microsecond after that thing went live, I wouldn't have gotten it. I still might not get it because they might cancel legitimate orders like mine to fulfill some of these orders, which is bullshit for lack of a better word. But at the end of the day, Games Workshop is there to make money. And this artificial scarcity that they cause by doing this and not doing anything about it ensures that they're going to make money because somebody's going to buy it. Uh, you know, if they did a print on demand for some of these limited editions, that might ease things up a little bit. Uh, if they implemented some sort of CAPTCHA system or some sort of AI verification system that shows that these are, you know, multiple orders for the same person, I don't know what they what they could do to fix this. But people are pissed, and they're rightfully pissed. I don't blame them. I would be too. It's It sucks. Uh See, no Warhammer stuff in here at all. More Pokemon stuff. More a limited Taylor Swift thing. These aren't people that wanted the book for their collections. These are people that are in it to make money. Plain and simple. Just like Games Workshop, it's all about the bottom line. It's all about the dollars. Uh, looking at this graph here, Median is, yeah, roughly that three four hundred dollar mark. And don't do that, please don't pay that. I mean, I, I get it the FOMO and the wanting to complete collections and all that, but all we're doing is enabling these people, and that's they're going to keep doing it, they're not going to stop as long as there's a buyer, they're going to keep doing it. Same thing with consoles, same thing with shoes, same thing with any. Uh, scarce item that people really want, you're going to have people that are going to capitalize on it. Uh, I actually found out that this is, and I I double-checked it, so I was like, nah, there's no way. There's no way these sneaker scalpers are getting into Warhammer books. And sure enough, I actually saw footage of a group talking about how they can bot the website, you know, bragging, oh, I got this many copies. It, it's really scummy. And I'm sorry to all the people that are pissed off that missed out on this. It, you know, I don't see this stopping. I don't know how Games Workshop is going to fix it. I don't even know if they care to fix it. Um, I think that some of the people that work at Games Workshop do care. I actually had a lady out of the North America office email me when two of my orders were canceled. For the same reason, because it was mostly sold out and being scalped on eBay, um, and then come to find out a bunch of those canceled or returned copies ended up at Warhammer World, and they had a whole ton of stock, but they had canceled orders here in North America, and I sent her the pictures, I was like, look, you have a fuck ton of these books sitting at Warhammer World right now, I can see at least 15 in the picture, where's mine? You know, I've spent... Thousands of dollars on Warhammer Black Library books uh, and Warhammer merch. I don't even know what that number is. It's high. But I told her, I was like, people like me that are paying customers, repeat, constant paying customers, aren't going to put up with this shit. And eventually, people are going to get mad enough, which they are now. I saw multiple people saying that after yesterday they will not be buying any more limited editions from Black Library because they are so pissed off that the one book that they needed to finish out the Siege of Terra, which I don't know if there's another one or not, I can't remember, they're not going to be able to because they're not going to pay these prices. So the other thing with eBay is that if you go in here and report all these listings as being pre-orders, as them not having the item in hand and potentially never having it, they will not remove it. So it's an eBay problem, too. Um, you know, from Games Workshop and eBay, nobody's doing anything about it. People are mad. People are upset. Genuinely upset. I mean, I know collectors that are heavily invested in this, and now they're missing out on, you know, one part of something that they 
they really like, they really enjoy, and that they really wanted because you got scumbags that are trying to profit off of them, and they're not going to pay those prices. I wouldn't pay those prices, so I don't blame them. But, uh, yeah, Games Workshop needs to do something about this. Fix your shit because, you know, people like me, other collectors aren't going to put up with it for very much longer. So thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, goodbye.